I Know an Aged Man Constrained to Dwell by William Wordsworth Read by Chris Harper I know an aged man constrained to dwell in a large house of public charity where he abides as in a prisoner's cell with numbers near alas no company when he could creep about at will, though poor and forced to live on arms, this old man fed a red breast, one that to his cottage door came not, but in a lane partook his bread. There, at the root of one particular tree, an easy seat this worn-out labourer found, while Robin pecked the crumbs upon his knee, laid one by one, or scattered on the ground. Dear intercourse was theirs, day after day. What signs of mutual gladness when they met. Think of their common peace, their simple play, the parting moment, and its fond regret. Months passed in love that failed not to fulfil, in spite of season's change, its own demand by fluttering pinions here and busy bill, there by caresses from a tremulous hand. Thus, in the chosen spot, a tie so strong was formed between the solitary pair, that when his fate had housed him mid a throng, the captive shunned all converse proffered there. Wife, children, kindred, they were dead and gone, but, if no evil hap his wishes crossed, one living stay was left, and on that one some recompense for all that he had lost. Oh, that the good old man had power to prove, by message sent through air, or visible token, that still he loves the bird, and still must love, that friendship lasts, though fellowship is broken.